This video is brought to you by the Disc King Know the Sport subscription service. What's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Legacy Discs Pinnacle Ghost. This one's 173 grams, really nice mid-range disc. I had a lot of fun testing it. Um, big thank you to the Disc King for sending me this disc as part of his Know the Sport subscription service. Um, you know, always great to uh, continue the uh, relationship between Disc King and my channel here on YouTube. Um, had a lot of fun testing this thing again. It's a really great disc. Let's get into it. So, I like the logo for Legacy Pinnacle Edition Ghost. There are some flight numbers for you. I would say those are pretty close. Maybe, uh, maybe for this particular one, the fade might be more like a two or something, but that's, uh, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. LegacyDiscs.com, if you want to uh, check out the rest of their lineup and get more information on these discs. Mid-range driver. So this one's 173 grams. Um, so not max weight, which could make it slightly more... Uh, straight flying than I expected it to be. I expected it to be a little bit more beefy than it is, but we'll get into that in a second. So, if my camera would focus, you'd see this thing has a very old school, very reminiscent of a rock type shape. It's got uh, a little bit of a dome to it. It doesn't really pop top so much, but you can see it's got a little bit of a rounded dome on the top there. And uh, yeah, very, very rock-like shape to it, uh, the rim profile. It's got a bead on the bottom there. Um, the, the rumor of what I've heard is that these are based on the 10 time KC rock mold, um, but I don't really know if that's true or not, but I have a Smashbox TV, shout out, uh, Glow Rock 3 here that I just hang on my wall, I bought to kind of support the show, I'm a big fan as you guys know, um, and, uh, let's take a look here, I'm trying to get these lined up right, right next to each other so you can get an idea of what they look like side by side so there you go we'll focus so the ghost is on the right and the rock three on the left and you can see they're extremely similar i mean uh... maybe not definitely not identical but very very similar you can see there's slight variances in there based on uh... the side by side look there nothing i can really describe per se you'll just have to, to see what you can see there um, but overall extremely similar um, Let's talk about the plastic. Pinnacle Edition plastic seems like it'll be plenty durable. I didn't have any trouble with it slipping out of my hand early, but it doesn't have the best grip either. Uh, I was, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed by the feel of this thing. I feel like uh, I've had other Legacy discs that, you know, the plastic felt really great. This one is a little bit more slick feeling than I might like. But again, it wasn't an issue. I didn't have any trouble releasing it, especially with that old school rim design. Um, with the bead and stuff, like it's real easy to, to control this and get a nice nice release out of the hand. Something about these old school rim shapes, they, they release really nicely and that makes it relatively simple to put good spin on the, uh, on the disc as well. So let's talk about the flight of this thing. Really, really fun to throw, extremely intuitive, basically... Um, you know, within a, within a few throws, you get a, you start to get the idea that this thing basically holds which, what line you put it on. Um, it's a little bit stable, but not really overstable. Um, the flight numbers might be slightly misleading in that respect. Uh, maybe if it was max weight, it would be a little bit more beefy. I was expecting it to be, like, pretty beefy, overstable, kind of into a slight headwind kind of disc, but it's really just a line holder. Heiser flip it up flat and get a very straight all the way flight out of it. Good glide, good carry to it. Um, you can also, you know, throw it on a slight Anheuser and get it to kind of just gently flex out the whole flight. It'll hold a turnover as well and then just kind of just barely come back to flat, maybe finish back left. Just a hair on a, on a turnover shot, depending on, you know, wind and all that sort of stuff, of course. Um... But it's really just like a really stable, straight stable point and shoot kind of mid-range disc. It works actually really well as well from like within short just to kind of get up, you know, approach to the basket. It works nicely for that. It's not something I would generally use a mid-range for, but I was just testing that um, while I was out uh, field testing. It seemed to do a great job. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a really nice kind of line holding workhorse mid-range disc, you can get a couple of these, kind of maybe work them in a different... Uh, you know, different levels of wear, and uh, they could cover a lot of different bases for you, just like rocks. You know, every you know rock throwers generally layer a lot of them in the bag. I'm sure people that really like the Ghost are no exception. You can get a few, keep a fresh one, 
one that's slightly be beat in, one that's real beat in for flippy shots, and they could probably cover all your mid-range needs if that's what you're looking to do. So I had a great time testing the Legacy Ghost. Phenomenal disc. Highly recommend checking one out in this plastic type um, and any plastic type you might be interested in. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Cheers.